AMREF Health Africa is an international organization operating in 35 countries in Africa. It is currently the largest indigenous organization having started and still operating in Africa despite expanding to Europe, Canada and the United States of America. Dr. Joachim Osu is the director of regional and field offices. As you've already heard, AMREF is uh, an international organization. We reach about 35 countries in Africa with our programs. But we also have offices in Europe, about seven countries in Europe, and also in Canada and North America. In Malawi, AMREF started in 2013 and has since grown from running a single project to running about 10 projects. We have quite a number of projects that we are implementing. Currently we have uh, the Deliver Life uh, project which is being funded by the FID. We have the Canada Africa Initiative to address maternal, newborn and child mortality. And this is being funded by Global, Afri Global Affairs Canada. We have the Yes I Do Alliance, uh, thankful to the Dutch government, uh, which is funding this project. Again, we are also thankful to the Dutch government for funding the Stand Up for Adolescents project. And we have the Trachoma Elimination uh, Project, which we are undertaking in Lilongwe and uh, uh, some districts in the south. We also have a program in Malawi, which uh, we call e-learning, and this is um, aimed at uh, upgrading of uh, nurses. And uh, this is being sponsored by Bread for the World. We are here today because of um, health systems advocacy. And again, thanks to the Dutch government uh, who are funding this program. But we also have the Standard Based Management and Recognition International, uh, which is uh, funded by International Development Research Center. And lastly, we have uh, the Leap My Project, which is funded by the Dutch Lottery Postcode. The recent project being run by AMREF Health Africa is the Health Systems Advocacy Project. This is a collaborative project bringing together different strengths from the partnership to support the Ministry of Health through four strategic areas, which are improvement of community health services delivery, improved retention of healthcare workers, improvement of family planning services, and improvements in healthcare governance. I want to say that this is a collaborative project. Um, we are there as many partners working together to help in uh, supporting the Ministry of Health to strengthen the health systems. And among the partners is Achest, uh, represented here today uh, by Dr. Anne Poyer, which I'm sure many of you know. We also have WEMOS, which is uh, a Netherlands-based organization. And we have um, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, Netherlands, among others. African Health Accountability Platform, AHAP, is one of the partners in the project to ensure accountability. Uh, the national platforms like African Health Accountability Platform make sure that at national level we should achieve those commitments. Government should lead in achieving those commitments. The other important thing that the Health Systems Advocacy Project is doing regarding accountability platforms is capacity building and research. Of various organizations are operating at different levels. So, uh, Trainings are conducted to build our capacity. And also, even research is also conducted to identify gaps through situation analysis. And then once those gaps are identified, plans are developed and, and, and uh, uh, measures put in place to advocate for those, uh, uh, those, those gaps. The Health Systems Advocacy Project is scheduled to run for three years with the potential of being extended if need arises following a smooth running positive results and resource availability. In our plan, we are going to run it for three years. And um, if all goes well, it could be extended. But we aim to contribute to stronger health systems so that the people of Malawi can realize their right to the highest 
attainable sexual and reproductive health and rights. As most of the AMREF programs, this program is also targeting various groups of people. Most of our programs are targeting children under five, women of a reproductive age, adolescents, and as your paid community health workers, we recognize the role that they play and uh, it is deliberate that some of our programs are aimed at uh, helping them to achieve their goals. But we are also targeting facility-based health workers. We also target to reach out to policymakers and uh, the Malayan community in general. The involvement of civil society organizations and the government in the advocacy program are there to ensure accountability. Dr. Dan Namalika was the guest of honor at the launching ceremony of the project and he highlighted on the importance of the Health Systems Advocacy Project. It is fully in line with government priorities. As I stated earlier on, our main priority is human resource for health. And as you could see in the, in the objectives of the program, human resource is uh, and improving their capacities is a priority. The second issue they talked about is, as, as, a, as an objective is issues of accountability. And as a ministry, we're looking at how we can do efficiencies. So whatever resources that are coming in country, either from Treasury in Malawi or from our development partners, should be accounted for because they are meant to be for Malawians. The third area that is being highlighted here is the whole area of community engagement and the involvement of civil society organizations, uh, but also our communities, uh, the media, is testimony to the alignment that uh, this uh, whole program is with uh, government objectives. The third item, or the fourth item, the last one, was issues around supply chain. Although specifically this project is talking about sexual reproductive health commodities, family planning commodities, we in the ministry look at supply chain as an area of priority. We would like products that are bought for Malawi, or procured for Malawians, to reach the Malawians. In his remarks, Dr. Dan Namalika emphasized that the government will embrace the project by providing full support. Let me appreciate the humility that you've given to me and the honor that you've given to the Minister of Health today uh, that we can grace this occasion. Be assured those areas are clearly in line with the policies and priorities of the Ministry of Health. And you are assured that Malawi government, through the Ministry of Health, will work with you. AMREF Health Africa will continue working tirelessly with communities to deliver preventative, community-based health care in order to build a better, healthier and progressive Africa.